Dr. Gibbs, this is the second year that Charing Cross is running the abstract session. Could you tell us what was different from last year? Yes, I think the abstract program this year was much bigger. There was over 100 abstracts presented in a number of different sessions, so peripheral, carotid, abdominal aortic, thoracic, St. George's Vascular Day and Venus. So I think the overall, the, um, there was a lot more interest, there was a lot more um, submitted abstracts and the standards and the qualities were really very high this year. Why is it important for Charing Cross to have an abstract session? I think it's, um, it's, it's very important to allow um, a voice to all vascular surgeons who've got something of interest to say, to actually get that message out at the meeting. And it will allow the, I guess, the organisers to bring new talent and new ideas and new concepts forward. One of the, one of the really key things I think Roger's done this year is to award these certificates of merit for the very best abstracts. And that enables the winners to suggest topics for next year's programme. So I suspect this abstract is going to be a really fertile recruiting ground for the future stars of vascular intervention. Can we talk about uh, those abstracts that were the prize winners? Why were they? Why did they win? Well, I, um, there were two winners: one in the junior and one in the senior category. The junior, uh, uh, the trainee winner, was Alan Cotter from St George's, and he um, he presented uh, an absolutely. Uh, excellent piece of work on cardiovascular prevention that I think will have real ramifications for everybody and I suspect will be published in a, in a really good journal. And then the senior winner, uh, Murray Shames from Florida, I was actually at that session, just gave a really interesting talk on um, EVAR and uh, over 12 years and some of the problems associated with it and the putative solutions. So that was, a, that was also an excellent, an excellent topic. Are there any other abstracts that you, you would like to highlight? Uh, there were multiple excellent abstracts across the whole field. I wasn't at every single, uh, every single um, session. I think from my own bias, I thought uh, Todor Vazu Vaden from Hamilton in uh, New Zealand gave us a really good talk on um, preemptive bypass for type A, future proofing type A deception, which I thought was really original and a really excellent paper. So it seems like we've got abstracts from like all over the world, as it seems like New Zealand, Egypt. Can you? Yeah, I think I think the when, when we've just been reading out the the list of certificates of merit, and they are really from from the states, from Europe, from the UK, uh, from from Australasia. So really everywhere, yeah. What does it mean for a young physician to win a prize like this? Well, I think I think young, keen vascular physicians like winning prizes wherever they can go. But it, I think the Charing Cross brand has got a particular, is held in particularly high regard. And winning a prize here with a really, really stiff and excellent competition actually means something um, important.